Now that we've done the initial work to create a group of enemies, let's create the update loop that will move these enemies in 3D space. The first thing to do is find our update method. Find the call we made to audioengine.update and place a new line under it. Then add the following line, update enemy ships. This call to the update enemy ships method will be called each time update is called, so it will be called constantly, providing a way to keep our enemy ships moving. The only trouble is that the update enemy ships method doesn't exist yet. It's up to us to create it. Let's place this method underneath our update missiles method, so find update missiles. Now scroll down past it until the last right curly brace for the method and make some space. Let's get this method going. Void update enemy ships. For each game object ship in enemy ships. Well, this will be a void method. It doesn't return anything. What it will do is loop through the array of enemy ships and operate on each ship. Add the following lines inside the for each loop. If ship.alive ship.position plus equals ship.velocity. The first order of business is to find any enemy ships that are alive and move them. Position is modified by velocity. We don't want the ships to move forever, so we need to determine when the ships should die. The ships will be moving toward the player, so that's movement in the positive z direction. The player is at a z position of zero, so let's go beyond that. Place this code just below the position velocity update. If ship.position.z greater than 500.0f, ship.alive equals false. Now, if the ship flies more than 500 units past the player toward the screen, we'll kill it. Now go ahead and add a right curly brace to close the if statement, but don't close the method. We're not quite done yet. We still need to deal with setting an initial velocity and position for these ships, and we'll do that in this method as well. 